When you log into Google Data Studio for the first time, you're gonna see this main page where you can see all of your recent works. You're gonna see what's shared with you and what's owned by you. And then additionally, you have these three tabs where you can look at the reports, the data sources, and then also this thing called Explorer, which is an experimental feature at this point in time when we're talking about Explorer. But it does allow you to uh, currently, and we'll have some videos on this in this course that I'll dive into at some point in time, where I'll show you Explorer. And Explorer allows you to dive into your data at a deeper level and then export an Explorer session and then add it into a chart, and then you can show that. Um, but there's plenty that we're going to dive into just with the basic reports. So let's go ahead and get that going. So we're going to start off with a blank report. And then what we're going to do as you can see right here, we have connections to data, so we can actually go down and see all of the different options we have. File op upload is the big one. Um, we have Google Ad Manager, Cloud Storage, um, Postgres, MySQL, YouTube Analytics are some of the big ones that are there right now. Um, there's also a lot of different third-party connections that Google has you can connect to is extremely long list they have that um, on lock for sure so I'm gonna go to my data sources right and I actually have the Maryland crime data right there for me but I want to show you how I got to putting that in so if you go to file upload you just go over here to Maryland crime data and click on that and then you have it and we're just gonna add that to our report so I'll give that a second to load in there. And yes, we'll go ahead and add that to report. Perfect. Okay, so when we import the data, we're able to, we just get a default uh, table right here. But let's go ahead and run through uh, the basics of what we got going on up here. So at the very top, I'm going to go ahead and name this and I'll say maryland crime data right and that's going to be the name of this report i don't know the year but yes maybe it'll say this is uh 2010 2021 that's not right 2010 all right and we're just going to get rid of this because this is just a wash so let's go ahead and start by looking over at the right hand corner where you can hit view. So if you hit view, we're going to see a blank canvas right here, but this is ultimately what the end user would be seeing. So the shape, the dimension, the color, the content is all going to go here. So if I go back to edit, I'm then able to add things in. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to show you how to do pages. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a page and then I'm gonna get this drop down right here now I have two pages so I'm gonna go ahead and name one of these crime type overview and we're gonna show the overview of the different crime types that are happening in Maryland and then the next page is gonna be location so we're gonna show the location of these crimes in Maryland on the next page so I'm gonna rename this first page right here crime type overview and then I'm gonna rename this one to be Crime Location Overview, all right? Cool, so now we have those two pages right there. We can add other pages if we want. It doesn't matter how many you have. Uh, but I'm gonna hit View, and then you can see you can toggle the pages right here in the top. But if I wanted to, I could change the navigation, which is those pages, to show on the left, which is a little bit uh, in my mind, a little bit of a better uh, flow for the user. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and pick a theme. So overall, I like a dark theme. So I'm just going to go with this constellation theme right here. This is going to give us a baseline for all of our colors, and you can see all the available themes here. You can also kind of make, um, you know, you can also extract a theme from an image. So you upload a th an image, and then it will pull all the colors from that image, which is pretty sweet. All right, so one of the things you're gonna to wanna to do is fit to width or actual size. 
and that's just the display mode. So let's look at the difference. If we do fit to width, it will fill up the screen. But if we say actual size, it'll stay right there. I'm gonna show you the difference on that again. Awesome. So now we've gone over the basics of the layout. There's a couple more different things that you could uh, you can you can mess around with it here. But let's just add a basic chart. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a bar chart. I'm gonna stretch it across the page right here. And right here, all we have is record count. So we're not gonna want to do record count. What we're gonna want to do is um, crime. Well, let's open our our data right here, and let's see what we have for crime type one. The crime name one is either crime against society or crime against property, or crime against person, uh, or other or not a crime. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go hit uh, crime name two because that's the more specific naming convention where we get uh, like shoplifting, robbery, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're gonna say crime name two. We're gonna bring that in. Then, yeah. So that's record record count right there. Cool. So now we have a bar chart that shows us the uh, volume and the type it's from top to bottom. So let's go ahead and style this a little bit. And what we'll go ahead and do is see we toggle a couple of these things. So if we don't have the axis, right, then that just goes away. We can do it upside down, we can do reverse. This uh, left to right is actually pretty nice, um, but we'll just keep it from here for here right now. Um, you can change a lot of the aesthetics in here, as well as the legend. So we can change the font of the legend, which is pretty neat. I'm just gonna change it back to Droid Sans, which is just so that all of the uh, default um, text is the same. And then we can change the color of the bars and then it says we have 10 bars so we could change that to say 11 12 um, or more and then we're going to put data labels on so we're going to have uh, those data labels and these ones aren't large enough for us to be able to see what's going like the to put the label inside of the bar and actually i'm going to color this bar to be something a little bit nicer i'm going to do that blue i don't do that's more of like a nasty orange there we go, we'll do that red. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and that's on uh, page one. And we'll hit view. And now we can see that we have this chart here. And this is what our customer would see. If we wanted to uh, sort by, we could sort by the names. And so we're starting from uh, lowest, or, or sorry, lowest in the alphabet all the way up and we could sort by a record count. Now I'll start with all other offenses this is general categorization of um, the largest categorization of crimes in this data set. Second most being drugs and narcotics and theft from, theft from a motor vehicle and simple assault. So we got the crime type overview and we got this simple bar chart in here and we've done a theme and overall we're ready to dive deeper from here on out.